everybody. I am Zane, and I'm going to show you how you can get full body tracking 100% free for your Quest 2 headset. All you need is your Quest IP address and a phone, iPhone, Android, whatever, an Apple or Android device, and that's it. So first, I'm going to put the the instructions on screen on how to set it up okay so first you want to open up your viso app and there's the new update that came out to where you can select a, a thing a ip but i suggest going to enter and then just entering in your device's ip set it to whatever wait uh Or it was something like that. Whatever, I'll set it up later. But, yeah. And then you want to just hit connect. Okay. May or may not have forgotten what it was. Whatever. So, yeah. It'd be something like that. And then you just hit connect. And it would actually connect. But you can see. Uh, I kind of forgot to. And you can either... Oh, that's probably one. Something like that. But you can click if it's connected to PC, yes or no. You choose your game. It's only VR check right now. You can choose your height. You have to choose your height. And then, yeah. There's also this that allows you. And there's also the Discord you can join. Okay. Now that you set it up, what you want to do is you want to open your action menu. If you haven't already, if you haven't already done this before with Pino Quest or Pino Soft or Drive for VR OO Track, go to Options, go to OSC. It's right here. Click this. And make sure it's enabled, and it should respond to you. Now you should see. Well, I turned it off. Uh, when you have it toggled, you should see calibrate full body. And all you have to do is align your feet with the, your feet with the little balls, your hands, with, you don't really have to do the hand step unless you're using elbow trackers, and boom, it works really great, in my opinion, it works really great, like, look at that, now, it's a little, I should have done this tutorial in daylight, I'll do a new one in daylight, but it's like super jittery because my lighting isn't all that great, yeah, you can sit down too, it's really great, laying down, the, laying down is iffy depends on how you're like how you're laying down and where you put your phone my suggestion is putting it like right at your hip like right in front of your hip and what i had this is my these are my settings now 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 let's say you calibrate and for some reason you're moving this leg but this whoa whoa let's say you're moving this leg and this leg comes up for some reason it's confusing for some people. Let me show you how to fix that. You open your launch pad, you go to your settings, and usually it's like up here. You scroll down until you see auto recenter OSC trackers. You click that and your body should twist like this. All you have to do is recalibrate. And boom, it should be fixed. And if it isn't, go to the Discord because I I, I am making a tutorial, but I like don't know how to really like do all that stuff but yeah and it works with almost every avatar well most avatars that are at normal height honestly my personal recommendation is getting steam vr so you can use OBR and move up and down and yeah that's the tutorial this this is my settings i'll like put like a screenshot and make it yeah these are my settings yeah, I suggest you turn locomotion off because when you like, yeah, I'll just also show you. So let's say I turn it on. It doesn't look bad, but like let's say you're sitting down. It's kind of like yeah. So I suggest turning locomotion off. And this I usually have it as access, but it's like yeah. 
So yeah. Or you can have legacy tracking, which isn't that great with OSC. I've seen a lot of people using it for some reason. It's like really, really 10 out of 10 great for them. But every time I try to use it, it's like really bad. So yeah, that's just the tutorial. I hope y'all enjoy. Bye.